Hi guys and welcome back to Ty Denise. So today I'm coming on to do a favorites video from my weekly stash basket. I have some products that I want to share with you that I really have been enjoying using and then I have a few products that just didn't work out for me so if you guys are interested and would like to see what products worked for me and which products did not stick around and let's just get right to it. So the first place I'm going to start is with a product that I'm now having a love-hate relationship with. It is the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. This is a product that I have a love-hate relationship with. I absolutely adore this product. I mean, I have fallen head over heels for this product for winter. Winter is the only time I think I can really use this particular primer. It is a beautiful hydrating and correcting type of primer and hence the word hydrating. Hydrating mean that, means that it's like moisturizing. Now in the colder months my skin is so parched it needs that little bit of hydration, that moisturization. It needs that but it is starting to get warm here where I live. It's very warm during the day and then cold in the evening and what I have found is that my oil production on my face has started to kick back up. Hence I am an oil slick way faster than I normally would be if I was not using this product. Now I am going to say this if you are combination dry more on the dry side of the spectrum this is a great primer I definitely think you're going to absolutely adore it it gives you just a hint of doing this very very lightweight the coverage or the priming effect of this does actually make your makeup last longer and I was finding that I wasn't looking as dry when using this particular primer but now that I am back on like team oily because I have combination oily skin this product is a product that I have to put away and then I will break it out come winter um, once it starts to get cold because the oil production on my face is just whoo it is back and this particular primer is not helping it at all it's actually making the situation worse so I will say this I hope that Black Opal comes out with a mattifying version of this primer because I will be all over it. I am a huge fan of this primer. It just makes me so sad that I actually have to put it up because um, it is getting hot and the oil production on my face. I have to go back to using like a true mattifying primer. So that's what I think of this product. I think it's amazing. It's great for people that have combination dry skin. If you're like me, like I said, and have combination oily, this is something that you definitely just want to put up and then pull back out when your skin is kind of parched or dry. So those are my thoughts on this particular primer by Black Opal. It's good stuff. It's just not good for me in the hotter seasons. So this next product you guys have seen a ton on my channel. It is the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I have this in two different um, finishes or I should say two different colors. One's a little deeper, one's a little lighter. This is the darker of the two. This particular Soft Focus Finishing Powder by Black Radiance is amazing. What it does is it kind of just blurs out the lines. It kind of helps control the oil. You don't look shiny. You can put it over makeup. You can wear it alone. It's just an amazing finishing powder. It is extremely lightweight. So you definitely won't be able to create cake face with using this. I put this over BB creams, tinted moisturizers, foundations. I just use this powder all the time and I adore it so much that I actually needed to pick up two different versions a lighter version and a darker version and I use this year round it's one of my favorite finishing powders absolutely hands down if you are a dark skinned girl this is a great product to own now this next product is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to like this mascara or if I wasn't. I was kind of like, I don't know about the two steps. I already own the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara and this particular mascara is like my go-to mascara. It just lengthens the lashes and makes them jet black. So I knew that this product was amazing or is amazing and I was thinking that if this gave me additional length I was going to absolutely adore it. Now I am wearing this mascara today and I have to say 
to me I think the results are very similar the only thing I have to say is this might give me a little bit more length just a little bit because it has that primer in here and the primer allows the mascara which is step two to grab onto the eyelashes a little better but I can just use this and it might be not as obvious but nevertheless I feel like comparatively I'll just keep using this I'm gonna use this up I think it's a good mascara but I'm not like in love with it I, I like I don't adore it like I adore this one so this next product I have to say I really absolutely do adore this product it is the wet n wild ultimate brow universal stencil kit this is what this looks like I'll move in closer so you guys can see it now in this kit you get the brow products plus a wax you get the stencil you have the applicator a tweezer and then the spoolie now I don't necessarily use the stencil but everything else about this kit I absolutely adore I am a huge huge fan of these wet n wow uh, brow ultimate kits I absolutely adore them they just work well for me they're very affordable I don't really do a lot to my eyebrows I don't grow a lot of eyebrow hairs actually I'm trying to hold on to the little bit of eyebrows that are still there so because of that I feel like these products in here just work for me so the next product I want to share with you guys are these mascaras by Wet n Wild. I'm a huge fan of the original, but the new one that they have just put out, oh no, honey, I am not a fan. I don't know. This brush is wonky, and it could be user error, which I'm sure it probably is, but look at this brush, y'all. Look at this brush. I don't even understand the brush, and maybe I need someone to teach me or tell me really how to use it, but I am not a huge fan of this brush head and I will just be honest with you I was trying to wear it I poked my eye and I was like oh no once I poked my eye and it hurt like you will not believe I put this sucker up I was like oh no I didn't poke out my eye I can't even proceed to try to even finish doing the mascara and my eye literally ran all day long I poked my eye so hard it literally teared up and just ran all day long I was so upset about this wand on this mascara because I'm such a huge huge fan of this one so yeah for me this is a uh-uh I don't even want to talk about this anymore because <laughs> I was so pissed off I was so I was in a meeting and the eye just kept running and I kept <laughs> sniffling I know those people probably thought what is wrong with this lady what is wrong with her but it was because I had poked my eye earlier in the day and I kept trying to sniff it sniff the tears back out of my sinuses so anyways long story short this is a no-go for me so this next product is the Becca Ombre's nudes palette I don't really reach for this palette as much as I should so this is what the palette looks like okay now I have to say all of the colors in here are beautiful I'm gonna swatch a few the really beautiful colors okay I'm a huge fan of this palette I think it's a really pretty palette the only thing I have to say is to get these colors to show up on me I really have to have an excellent primer I found that I initially put this on it showed up but as the day went on it looked like I didn't have anything on like after hour like five so the next time I use this palette I'm definitely going to use a really good base so the next two items I want to share with you are these micellar waters okay so this one here is one that I picked up from Sephora when I ordered something online um, they threw this into the bag so I could try it um, when you're VIB Rouge sometimes they will do that so long story short this one right here is the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Water. It removes makeup and impurities, tones and brightens. It's purifying effect of hydrogen mineral water and it's dermatologist tested and this is all legit. This one right here though, this one right here, for me personally, does everything it said it was going to do. It was going to tone, it was going to brighten, it was going to remove the makeup and impurities. I literally put it on like a cotton round, I saturated cotton round, and I just wipe. I don't tug, I don't do any rubbing, I just literally put it on a cotton pad, 
put it over my eyes, let the product work the products off of my eyes and just gently wipe it away. I mean like gently wipe it away and it removes everything, everything and my eyes are not irritated. I have not picked up a makeup removing wipe since I have purchased this. I have not. I just absolutely adore this specific one. So because this is so expensive and I just cannot justify purchasing this over and over again through the year, I had to find a drugstore dupe, something that worked for me. Now my favorite drugstore one is by Simple. It is not as good as this but is definitely a close runner up so I just want to say thank you guys so very much for taking time out of your day to watch my stash basket favorites there were a few misses but overall I feel like it was a really good basket this week and I really do like um, the makeup looks that I was able to come up with this week I hope you guys are enjoying the way that I'm doing this now so I'll do the shop my stash then how I use my stash basket and then my final thoughts on the stash basket at the end of the week and I hope this is a good way for me to communicate what products I really like wearing and using and why I like wearing and using them so you guys thank you so very much for watching and I will talk to each and every single one of you soon please make sure you rate comment subscribe and share much appreciated talk to you soon bye <laughs> bye guys <laughs> bye